Welcome to the Key Stage 4 Options presentation for Art. My name is Miss Rag and I am Head of Art here at Maiden Early School. Within Art, we have three endorsements to choose from. Art, Craft and Design, Textiles and Three-Dimensional Design, which is Sculpture. Art, Craft and Design is usually taken by those students who are good all-rounders, who love to draw, paint, sculpt. You can create textile work and sculpture work as part of this endorsement too. Textiles is more fabric based and can be in the form of constructed textiles, stitch or making with a sewing machine, embellishment, batik, repeat pattern printmaking. And 3D sculpture is for students who like making, working with clay, cardboard construction, wire and exploring materials in a more hands-on manner. So how is the course assessed? Component one, is the portfolio, which is 60% of the student's overall grade. And component two is an externally set assignment in the second half of year 11, and that makes 40% of your grade. 24 marks are awarded for each of the four assessment criteria in each component, AO1, AO2, AO3, and AO4. Let's look a little bit more closely at each assessment objective. AO1 is developing ideas through investigations, through demonstrating critical understanding of sources. This is mainly looking at practicing artists and art movements, different cultures to inform your own studies. Assessment objective two is about experimenting and exploring materials so that you get an idea of what you would like to do later on. Uh, assessment objective three is about drawing, taking photographs, exploring ideas again um, connected to your project um, and assessment objective four is presenting a final piece students bring together all the things within their project and realize their intents here are some examples of uh, three-dimensional design work that students have created in the past uh, you can see that students have worked with clay um, they've worked with constructing with other materials like with these here. Here are some examples of students who have enjoyed working with textiles. So you can see it ranges from stitch work on a sewing machine to repeat pattern printmaking or weaving uh, constructed textiles. There are so many career opportunities open to you when you take one of our art subjects. Many of our country's main industries are driven by creatives and there are lots of opportunities to work in these fields after you have studied art at GCSE and A. Here are some examples on these slides of the many opportunities within the art field. Resources. All students are required to have an A3 sketchbook, an A1 plastic portfolio to keep their work safe, both of these can be purchased in the art department at a very reasonable price. Um, and uh, a set of drawing materials, blendable coloured uh, pencil crayons, watercolours are recommended but not essential. And you can buy these when you're on the course. Topics covered during Year 9. Year 9 students study a range of skills building short projects. So we uh, do printmaking, colour theory and cardboard construction. Students will add on in the course. Um, in the summer term of Year 9, we have a lovely trip to Kew Gardens for a resource gathering day. And students take lots of photographs of the wonderful greenhouses and the foliage, the plants and the flowers, so that they can bring this, these photographs back into the classroom and draw from. And this forms part of a natural forms project. Students are encouraged to visit galleries independently. Topics covered during year 10 are building on the ones that ended at the end of year 9. So in year 10, all students will begin the year with an artist workshop. So they'll spend a full day off timetable with one of five visiting artists to learn about new process and techniques. Uh, this is an amazing day, an amazing experience, and, and students get lots of work done and created in this day, as you can see from the examples here. And then they will you to work on this project. After they've concluded their natural forms project, they be become more independent and self-drive their own project further. So they explore materials and start to self-read. 
their own project. Um, by the end of year 10, or going into year 11, students complete a portfolio of work by uh, December of year 11, and then they receive an exam paper in January. The exam paper is a lovely paper. It has seven open-ended starting points, and students choose from one of the questions to develop their ideas, like photographs and experiment, between January and March. Um, then students will resolve an outcome during a 10 hour exam in March where they'll be off timed over for two days to create their 10 hour piece of practical work, which sounds a lot like a lot, but it isn't in the time that they At the end of the GCSE course, at the end of year 11, when they have concluded all of their work, we create a huge exhibition within the art department which celebrates all of the amazing achievements that year 11 have created over the last three years. This is always a wonderful time and an experience for all members of the school community to come and celebrate uh, the achievements of the students. So is there an A-level that these GCSE art courses lead to? Here at Maiden Early School, we pride ourselves with our A-level courses. Uh, we run an A-level art and design, an A-level fine art, an A-level three-dimensional design, and an A-level photography course. These are very popular courses, and our students enjoy being independent and driving their own projects on these courses. Many of our A-level art students study dynamic art-based courses at universities, in architecture, fashion and textiles, animation, digital creativity. These are all popular choices. Um, we keep in contact with our students um, when they go on to their degree level and they always come back and tell us how they're doing. I hope that you've enjoyed looking at all of our past students' wonderful artwork on the presentation. We look forward to welcoming you on one of the art courses next year. If you still have further questions that have not been answered, you can attend the questions and answers information evening on Thursday the 11th, and we look forward to seeing you there.